I have a very cool experiment going on here with Daphnia. Um, we're testing them between soft water and hard water, seeing if the transition would shock them. The reason I'm doing this, first let me explain a principle here. This is important with Daphnia. If you want to culture Daphnia successfully, you have to have two cultures. This is why. If I want 20 gallons of culture, right, to get the harvest I want, um, that's fine. However, if I crash my Daphnia, I've lost all my Daphnia. That sucks. Now I have to buy new Daphnia, start all over again. It sucks. If you have two going, so instead of one 20 gallon culture, I had two 10, cul two 10 gallon cultures going. And those two tanks are on opposite care schedules. So if I mess with one, I do not touch the other, right? So I feed one, I do not feed the other. Everything's opposite. Just always leave one alone. That way if I overfed my culture and it crashed, I have my other culture. So what will happen then with your crashed culture, you know, usually folks overfeed their culture and it's a little bit, right? And that problem goes away within a day or two. So that 10 gallon tank crashed just wait a day usually you can scoop out a ton of daphnia from your good culture and then just place them into your crash culture and it will be fine at that point and you got your two cultures so that's why you keep two going the tough daphnia are very 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 easy to culture but for folks to get them established in a new source of water can be quite challenging and it's an easy process but some folks just don't get it um, so what I'm trying to verify here is you can just go to a grocery store and get yourself some water so I tend to sell small uh, established cultures here let me show you one um, this is uh, one that uh, I sell. What I do is I'll feed these things. I'll start these and I'll just keep them for a month or two like that where I, where I feed them uh, once a week. And once I have enough organic matter built up and decayed in there to where it's stable enough, I, I sell then this. So you would receive this in the mail. That's a dirty side, I think. Anyway, you would receive this in the mail and it would have a colony of Daphnia in it like you see and you would just pick out your Daphnia and then place them into your awaiting culture. And I like to do this because this gives you your first culture. So even if you mess up your culture, even terribly, it doesn't matter because you still have this. Because all you did is when you received this, placed it under a light and... You don't have to do anything to it other than that. And uh, just pick your Daphne out as you need them until you get your second culture established. And that second culture then would be in your water. And then what happens after that, the Daphne will become much more reliable as they adapt and evolve to your specific water. All right. So again, but the, the challenge for some folks is this getting themselves to this point, right? Because here, here's what happens. Most sellers will sell a quantity of Daphnia in like two or four ounces of water, you'll see. And that's because of shipping costs. Um, so you're getting a lot of Daphnia in a small amount of water. What happens is that those Daphnia in transit from overcrowding just 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 damage each other and then the water itself is becoming toxic 
right? So when you receive Daphnia, oftentimes you need to transition all of them and oftentimes the crash that people fear so much starts to occur in shipping, right? Overcrowding, toxic water. That's how my Daphne arrived. Can't expect much success like that. Sometimes, you know, if they show up damaged in toxic water, right? Um, so I prefer to ship folks just their first culture, maybe small, but um, it will produce more than enough Daphne. Anyway, the reason I I am conducting this experiment between distilled water and purified water is will the difference in hardness really shock these Daphnia? And this is the crux of this experiment. <clears throat> when you receive my Daphnia, one of the easiest ways to start a second culture is just go to your grocery store and purchase some water. Super cheap and it's very safe. So, you know, I still want you to start a colony in your water, but there's store water that is um, very easy to use. That's why uh, we're doing this. So, you know, if you receive my Daphnia, just go to Walmart. That's where these were from or wherever and um, purchase it. But which one is the best water? And honestly, I wasn't exactly certain what the Daphne would respond to, you know, because there's distilled water and spring water and purified water. So what we have here are distilled water. So this is very soft. Then we have purified drinking water. It says it's purified by reverse osmosis. So I think that just gets filtered. So purified drinking water, I believe, is just goes through a membrane to take out, um, you know, particles. And then it has some additives. So this has uh, calcium chloride and sodium bicarbonate. So it seems like this is filtered and then they add a little hardness to it, probably to make it taste a little bit more like regular tap water. So yesterday I placed a dozen or two Daphnia in this one and a dozen or two Daphnia in this one did not feed them. So I just wanted to see which ones were going to survive the longest. And honestly, the results kind of surprised me. I thought they would do well in the distilled water. And I thought the uh, purified water here that is hardened a little bit, they would, that, that it might shock them. Um, reason being is, um, well, I won't say why, <laughs> it does because it doesn't matter. Which one did they do best in? They did the best in the purified drinking water. And that surprised me a little bit. Um, it's, I thought they would just do better in it going into the softer water. So these are still alive, but barely. Most of them seem to have perished. You can see their dead bodies just floating around on the bottom. I think they're in the back because of the light here. This one, um, they still seem to be uh, kicking pretty well. So, I learned a little bit here. I'm writing an article at the moment and uh, this helped me clarify a thing or two. So, soft water, regular, purified, Drinking water, you know, that has a little, that's has a little hardness added to it. I don't know if I'm using the correct terms, but winner right here. 